This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Hey guys, Big Paul here today. We are going to talk about hunger hormones. This is one I don't hear a lot of bodybuilding coaches talk about. Um, sometimes you get so hungry, you just can't stop yourself from eating. We've all been there before. I've been face first in the bag of Halloween candy and just can't fucking stop myself. There also been times where I'm in a mass phase where I just can't stomach the thought of eating another meal. It makes me want to puke. And there's more to this than you think. There are hormones that are in the background that regulate whether you're hungry or you are not hungry. And we're going to talk about those today and how they affect us as physique athletes. We'll get into it in just one second. I don't know why this doesn't get discussed more than it does, you know, and I, and I do hear coaches talk about it from time to time. And, um, and I think it's something I try to manage in the background. I, you know, I don't know that my clients always know that I'm trying to manage it, but is, um, hunger and how to, ma you know, and I know working with Justin, he does too, but ma managing hunger and dealing with hunger, whether it is you feel too full to eat or, you are starving and want to eat all the time. And the two primary hormones that regulate that are leptin and ghrelin. And I just don't hear guys talk about it much. Um, I've had some other videos up before and you can check it out. I had one up on about how um, metformin can help with regulating hunger hormones, especially when you're on a contest prep. Um, but, um, uh, it's, it's something I really think should get more run and just a lot of people don't understand how they work. So leptin is the hunger suppression hormone. Um, as you get fatter, your body makes more leptin. Um, when your stomach is full, your body makes more leptin and leptin signals the hypothalamus that you don't need more food. Um, and you are, you have that feeling of being full and you don't crave more food. You want to stop eating. It is a system of regulation. Um, ghrelin is the hunger hormone. Ghrelin increases as body weight and body fat drop. Um, hypoglycemia also induces ghrelin, uh, release as well. So if any of you, my friends who are insulin users have ever gone hypo before, and you have that insatiable uh, need to eat candy and drink sodas, uh, that is Graylin at work, my friends. Uh, if you've ever done contest prep and you're dreaming about food, uh, you're having that wet dream about eating pizza, that is Graylin, my friends. Um, and, you know, I talked about this before, and one of the things that we have to manage, especially uh, when working with people that have had struggles with, with their weight and with obesity, um, a lot of times the systems of ghrelin and, and leptin are broken. Um, after being obese for a really, really, really long time, your leptin receptors desensitize. And they just don't work as well. And the feedback loop um, to the fat cells becomes broken. Uh, the body makes more leptin and even further decreases your leptin sensitivity. So essentially, that signal does not make it to your brain to stop eating. That's why you'll see some people that are severely obese that are constantly hungry all the time. I've been there before, too, when, when I've been obese in, in, in the past. I've never been, like, chronically obese, but I've been 40, 50 pounds over where I should be. And it seems like that, that signaling just gets broken and doesn't work right. And I see it with clients sometimes too. I, I have it on both ends of the spectrum. I have guys and gals that uh, can't stop themselves from eating. And I have the other, the other people that, that just don't want to eat anything. Um, so there's definitely something messed up in that system. Now, the broken leptin receptors, um, you know, and, and I'm kind of rehashing a video that I put up before. But it does seem that metformin um, fixes that. Uh, if you have a broken leptin receptor, 
Um, and, and there's been studies done on it that metformin in doses of 1,500 milligrams plus showed that people ate less after using it. Um, metformin seems to upregulate the expression of leptin receptors. Um, and metformin also directly inhibits the production of ghrelin through the secretion of AMPK. Um, so this is a cool little thing about metformin. It's worth mentioning again. I've brought it up in other videos before. Um, it's another little added benefit of metformin uh, that it can be good for hunger suppression. So if you're a person, not only does metformin help with insulin sensitivity, it seems to suppress hu hunger signaling in the body and helps regulate and correct um, imbalances in the um, in the system of leptin and ghrelin and get your body back to working somewhat normal again. Anecdotally speaking, I have noticed when I take ghrelin, or leptin that my uh, hunger does go down. Um, and sometimes that can be a problem in the off season. And then sometimes with contest prep, that can be a great thing. Uh, but it does seem to slow down the cravings that you get. Um, but just something to be in mind, and this is another, another thought that I had too, and that this is why I think a lot of coaches fuck up on the rebound phase after somebody comes off a hard diet where they 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 don't get ahead of ghrelin. Um, I, I feel like you kind of need to feed people, and I've seen it with myself, back into a good spot and keep them away from junk food, keep them full of good food, and get grayling back under control because what ends up happening is you have months and months and months of crazy food cravings where people are just going to go out and binge on cookies and ice cream and pizza and shit like that and just get fat if you don't get that under control and the way to get that under control is by filling them up with good food so that's why i think the whole reverse diet is just my opinion people can are probably going to disagree with me and this is the i i don't i don't buy into the whole fucking reverse diet thing where you have to reverse out of a show. Um, I think you go right back into peak off-season food and you eat good food and you get ghrelin under control. And usually within a couple weeks, you don't have cravings for the shit foods anymore. And I think that's where people get fucked after shows is they have all these crazy cravings for foods and they just go bananas and eat shit foods for a month on end. And then they're just, they're just fat again. And then their off-season's fucked. Um, so ghrelin and leptin are something that we have to constantly be thinking about when we're managing diets for, for physique athletes and to give people long-term success in improving their body composition. I, I, you know, keeping people satiated, keeping them in a spot where, um, leptin and ghrelin are functioning correctly, keeping them, uh, fed with good foods, um, uh, all go a long way to helping this. Anyway, guys, for coaching or consultations, head over to www.anabolicbodybuilding.com to book your spot today. I can help you with optimizing hormones, fat loss, muscle gain, physique, athletic performance, nutrition, and health. For more information, shoot me an email at bigp3rd at gmail.com.